Hey guys, what's going on here? Oh, it's raining. Here is a person. What is he thinking? No problem. I'm telling. He is thinking. यदि बारिश रुकी तो मैं बाजार जाऊंगा वरना नहीं. दोस्तों इस सेंटेंस को ध्यान से देखिए. You'll see a condition here. अगर बारिश रुकती है तो ये बाजार जाएगा. और अगर बारिश नहीं रुकती तो ये बाजार नहीं जाएगा. In conditional sentence, we have two parts, and one part depends on the other part. Here, action of going to the market depends on the condition of rain. These conditional sentences may be related to past, present, and future. Let's learn how to speak these conditional sentences in English one by one. Here are some examples of present and past conditional sentences. यदि मेरे पास पैसे होते तो मैं आपको दे देती यदि उसके पास समय होता तो मैं उससे मिल लेती अगर तुम कहते हो तो मैं उनसे बात करती हूँ यदि तुम जाते हो तो मैं उन्हें तुम्हारे साथ भेजती हूँ यदि मैं जानती तो तुम्हें नहीं बताती Here, where the sentences are related to present or past depends on the speaker and the situation. Let's understand some situations. दोस्तों आज जब मेरी सहेली ने मुझसे कुछ पैसे मांगे तो मैंने बोला यदि मेरे पास पैसे होते तो मैं दे देती Here, feeling is related to present. Here, situation is अगर आज किसी के पास कुछ होता तो वो कोई action कर लेता I will use a structure for such present condition. If somebody had something, somebody would action. According to this structure, I can speak here. If I had money, I would give. पता है दोस्तों मेरी सहेली फिर क्या बोली वो बोली कि जब मैंने पिछले महीने पैसे मांगे तब भी तुमने नहीं दिए थे I again said, यदि मेरे पास पैसे होते तो मैं दे देती Here. Feeling is now related to the past. I'll use a structure for such past condition. If somebody had had something, somebody would have action. This third form. So as per structure, I said to her, if I had had money, I would have given. Let's take some more examples. यदि उसके पास समय होता, तो वो मिल लेता. If feeling is related to present, please say here. If he had time, he would meet. If feeling is related to past, please speak here. If he had had time, he would have met. Let's understand the next structure. दोस्तों आज मैच हारने का बहुत दुख हुआ. यदि सचिन खेलता तो हम जीत जाते. It is related to present. As I am saying now, here is the structure for this. If somebody action the second form, somebody would action. According to structure, we can say here, if such and played, we would win. दोस्तों आज मुझे पिछले साल का मैच याद आ गया. जब भी हम सचिन के ना खेलने के कारण हारे थे, उस दिन भी. यदि सचिन खेलता, तो हम जीत जाते. Here sentence is same, but feeling is now related to the past. We have a structure for such past conditional sentences. If somebody had action plus third form, somebody would have action plus third form. As per structure, please say here, if Sachin had played, we would have won. Let's take examples. Agar we kehte, to mein uske khilaaf case kar deti. Here is an action, kisi ke khilaaf case karna. It means to sue someone. For present feeling, please say if they said I would sue him. For past feeling, please say if they had said I would have sued him. Guys, conditional sentences are very easy if you do practice properly. अगर मैं आपकी जगह होती तो अच्छी तरह practice करती. Wow, it's also a condition. It is related to present. As I'm saying now, here is the structure for this. If somebody were somebody, somebody would action.
So as per structure, I want to say here, if I were you, I would do practice properly. एक बार मेरी टीचर ने भी मुझसे यही कहा था अगर मैं आपकी जगह होती तो अच्छी तरह प्रैक्टिस करती दिस टाइम सिचुएशन इज रिलेटेड टू पास्ट हेयर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर सच पास्ट कंडीशन सेंटेंसेस इफ समबडी हैड बीन समबडी समबडी वुड हैव एक्शन प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म सो हेयर इज द इंग्लिश नाउ एज पर द स्ट्रक्चर इफ आई हैड बीन यू आई वुड हैव डन प्रैक्टिस प्रॉपरली Now let's go to the next section for daily use sentences. अगर शरीर के किसी भी हिस्से से खून निकले जैसे तुम्हारे हाथ से खून बह रहा है please say here your hand is bleeding. दोस्तों अगर शरीर के किसी भी हिस्से में दर्द हो जैसे मेरा सर दुख रहा है please say my head is aching. अगर शरीर के किसी भी हिस्से में खुजली हो जैसे उसके कान में खुजली हो रही है Please say here, his ear is itching. In these sentences, you can change as per the situation. Here are a couple of more daily use sentences. मेरी आँखों में जलन हो रही है. My eyes are burning. उसकी नाक बह रही है. His nose is blowing. Now let's go to the next section for words for a person. वो घायल था. Here is a word, ghayal. It means injured. Next, वो अधमरा है. Here is a word, adhmara. It means half dead. Here is next, वो पीड़त है. Here is a word, पीड़त. It means victim. Here is next, वो चली हुई है. Here is a word, jali hui. It means burnt. Here is one more, wo chotil nahi thi. Here, chotil means wounded. Wo abhi bhi behosh hai. Here is a word, behosh. It means unconscious. Guys, can you please speak these Hindi lines in English? Let's go to the next section. The verb for the day is Ilaad se parhez achha. It means prevention is better than cure. It's easier to stop something happening at an early age than to repair the damage after it has happened. Hope you guys will take care of all the needed preventions. Let's go to the practice. Section. Please pause the video and speak all Hindi lines in English. Thank you guys. Have a nice time.